We now have 911 calls. Passengers placed moments after an Amtrak train hit a city bus. Yes, I would say so. Okay, what kind of vehicle did the bus hit? A uh, train, uh, an Amtrak train. Okay, what kind of vehicle did the bus hit? Okay, got it. Well, today, one of the nine bus passengers told us about the panic leading up to the impact. News 4 Jack's I team investigator Kelly Wiley is live where it happened. And Kelly, you looked over the police report today and found some key details. Right. An investigating officer watched the surveillance video. He says the arm came down and the bus stayed here for around one minute, still partially in the train's path. The train eventually hitting that bus. One passenger told me he was frozen as he watched the train come toward them. Photos taken minutes after a JTA bus collided with an Amtrak train show shattered windows and doors. My whole life flashed for my eyes. I could have been killed that day. Brian Buchanan was one of nine passengers on board the bus Monday morning. But there's a train coming, right? And the JTA driver was going to try to beat the train. According to this JSO report, as the bus was approaching the tracks, the railroad traffic lights activated. The bus stopped for a safety check, and the investigator says that's when the railroad arms closed, leaving the right corner of the bus in the way of the tracks. The report says the bus stayed stopped partially on the railroad for nearly one minute before the train hit the bus. During that time, the report says the train honked several times. When I looked, the train was like right there. I'm, I'm like, oh my God, are you serious? I just remember the glass shattering and everything, the bus rocking like it could have tilted. Um, I probably wouldn't be here right now if that would have happened. The JTA spokesman told us in part they're thankful that no one was injured, but that they are reserving comment until their internal investigation is complete. What we do know is that driver has been cited by JSO. That driver is still employed by JTA, but not allowed to drive. Reporting in Murray Hill, Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, The Local Station.